to a Inuit snobber in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. B-I-T-C-H. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We are the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I was watching television. I was watching one of these dopey talk shows on TV, and this topic has come up before. Well, this being Halloween week, there were a number of people on television who were concerned, even complaining about, the fact that those slutty, sexy outfits that we discussed on the program previously, the one your girlfriend is wearing to parties to get all the other guys' attention, the age of the girls wearing these outfits is getting younger and younger and younger. And a number of people are concerned about the sexualization of girls. A number of people have said this is not good. This is bad parenting. This is going to cause girls to act inappropriately or it's going to cause them to uh, decide that they are sexual beings earlier than most parents would like them to be and that girls should be forbidden from dressing like French maids, sexy cops and wearing the fishnet stockings etc. Now, as you know, we already ripped the lid off this thing recently. When girls who uh, called in here, and I'm talking about the adult women, who said that uh, all they wanted to do was go out on Halloween or go out to Halloween parties and have fun. You know, dress up in a costume and have fun. Go out dancing, have fun. Have a few drinks, have fun. And uh, I disprove that uh, that's what women are all about, that they really have another agenda. When I said, well, if all you want to do is go out and dress in costume, why don't you go out and dress as SpongeBob or Shrek? You know, or Mickey Mouse. This is not about dressing up in a costume and going out and dancing. This is about dressing like a slut. That is what Halloween is. Women use it as an opportunity to see how much attention they can draw from guys. And now what you have is it started out with uh, uh, women of college age. And then it moved down to the 17-year-olds and the 16-year-olds. And now it continues to move down the ladder. Now you have girls who are barely developed running around in these outfits looking like complete adult whores. And there are many who are concerned about this. Now, I know nothing about child rearing, and I don't claim to. I don't have children. But I think I can look at this as a dispassionate observer. You know, it's interesting how this is happening without encouragement uh, from magazines or without encouragement from newspapers. Certainly schools are not encouraging this kind of behavior. I don't think most parents are encouraging it. Girls who are in their early teens or younger are looking up to 
16, 17, 18, 19-year-olds. And just like they want to be like them in every sense of the word, uh, in other words, uh, want to use the uh, same makeup they use, and the same accessories, clothing from the same designers, what have you. Uh, they want to be like them in every way, and that includes wearing slutty, sexy outfits that might be more appropriate for someone who's older. Now, the question arises, should you tell your little girl, no, you're not going out like that? Well, my answer may or may not surprise you. The reality is that when you grow up, ladies, women are available to the highest bidder. There are exceptions, of course. The hotter you are, the sluttier you dress, the higher an income husband you can expect to get. We've read the documentation about the younger and harder you are, the richer, more educated, more successful a companion you can hope to attain. Isn't that the reality? You don't like the reality. You wish it wasn't like that. You wish we looked at people for their inner beauty, blah, blah, blah. But it's not like that. If a woman is not hot, 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 the guy she will ultimately attract and marry will not be as rich, not be as successful as the husband, as the boyfriend, as the live-in of the woman who plays up her assets. It is only natural for younger girls who are growing up, who aspire to be successful as adults, it's only natural for them to follow the bouncing ball. They see older girls and women doing this, and they see the benefits that those older girls and women are getting, and they want to be like that. I have always said on this program, if your little girl looks like she's going to grow up to be a hottie, if she looks like she's going to grow up to be model status or, you know, just playing eight, nine, or ten hot, you might as well prepare her properly for what she can get in this world. Free travel, housing, food, stuff paid for. She can marry guys and take them for everything they've got. Never work a day in their life. What, what is the point of going to college? What is the point of going to school for years? What is the point of studying? What is the point of working hard? If you're a hot chick, prepare to be a model. Prepare to be an actress. Prepare to be a singer. Prepare to be a playboy playmate. Prepare to be a whore. Prepare to be a slut because you will cash in. And if you're a homely or fugly, fatty girls, you are the ones who are going to have to go to college, get great grades, get advanced degrees, and prepare to pay all your own bills. Now, I'm not suggesting that little girls, uh, you know, 14, 13, ought to be out there having sex. I'm not suggesting that. I'm suggesting that they are preparing for adulthood. And as they prepare for adulthood, this is what adulthood is all about. We're in complete denial about this. We're crazy. Let's stop pretending that women are judged on their inner beauty, their souls, who they are as people. And let's tell the truth. You are judged on how you look in fishnet stockings and a push-up bra, ladies. And frequently, your future compensation is tied to how good you look as a whore. On that basis, why would you tell uh, younger girls they can't dress like this? All they're doing is preparing for adulthood in America. Right? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. I love your show. Your show is what turns me on midday. The Tom Likas Show. It's 
The Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800. Tom, thank you for tuning in. Are you concerned that the, the girls and the bustiers, the fishnet stockings are getting younger and younger? Why? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Vanessa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Uh, it's Melissa. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it says Vanessa, so either <laughs> Dino's hearing is going or your cell phone stinks. <laughs> let's go. Um, I think it's your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, let's Bye. have Dean call you back, darling, because the uh, connection is terrible. We will just call you back. Let's say hello to Ben on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom, how are you? First I'm okay. Time, long time. Thank you, Ben. Hey, I totally agree with you. I've got three young daughters, and, you know, it boils down, I think, to, to context. And I know that my kids don't even understand what sex is. And I can, you know, flash back to my younger years and realize that, you know, th this stuff continues to drip down one level after the other. And, unfortunately, I think the higher the income level of the parent, most of the time they're able to sort of be a little more media savvy and weed out what they can for their kids. But... As it drops down, it, I'm telling you what, it, it continues to fall into our household all the time. And we're a pretty liberal household, but, man, it, it just blows my mind at the level of stuff that tries to come through the door. And you have to realize that, you know, at 10, 11, 12, 13 years old, they, they don't even know what's going on with their bodies yet to uh, to step into a pair of fishnets at that age. It's just ludicrous. Well, but uh, they're doing it, and uh, let's face it, uh, this is good training for when they're adults, isn't it? No, I know, I, and I got you on that one earlier. But I think, but at that point, parents have to step in and say, "Hey, wait a second, I got to be smart enough to weed out what's coming into my kids, uh, you know, backpack." You know what? what part of the problem with that is, uh, part of the problem is that people in your neighborhood with thirteen-year-old girls who have twenty-five-year-old mothers. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. I think a lot of it boils down to income level. A lot of times, and it's sad to say, and it's unfortunate, but if you if you are in a little higher educated household where, you know, you, you can sort of read through the lines on what's coming out at, at your kids through the media. They're, they're stepping in, at least we are, stepping in and saying, hey, we're not going to allow stuff that our kids don't even really understand at that sexual level to, to you know, get I mean, you just turn on Nickelodeon and it just blows your mind at the stuff that's on. Oh, how the, about the, by the way, the Disney Channel, the parents oh, think is so wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, high School Musical is not some giant sex drama. I'm sure it's not. I mean, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You just have to, I think, be talking to them about it. It's And you're right. Unfortunately, as the education bar, bar goes down and the income bar goes down, the parents are not talking to their kids about that stuff. That, you know, again, most of the time, you know, a 12-year-old, a 13-year-old kid, they're not even in touch with their own little bodies yet to really know what's going on around them. So, anyways, I think you're right on on this one. It's just, it boils down to what's going on at home again. Thank you, Ben. You bet. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate the call. Andrea on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. And I mean that. How are you doing? Oh, good. <laughs> I've been listening. I can't believe it. I'm talking to Tom Likas. Neither can first, I. Fun. First, first time for everything. I'm glad I had that beer at lunch. <laughs> 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 okay, Tom. I think I caught you in your own logic. You're trying to say that women should be taught early on what they can expect if they're good looking, for what they can get from men. Is that, is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Okay. Well, how is that work with the rules of Likas 101? Oh, men, there's no men contradiction. Are, men aren't supposed to spend money on women. They're remember? not. I'm not saying that uh, that uh, men should spend money on these women when they grow up. I'm just saying they will. And if you're the parent of a, a hot little girl... You might as well prepare her for what she's in for later. What are you training her for then if men shouldn't spend money on her? And then she's going to go out. No, no, no. Yeah, dear. Have any skills dear, to make her own money. First of all, first of all, dear, you're assuming every man in America is listening to me? And no, every man in America I. is doing what I say? <laughs> I mean, we know, I. we know from the phone calls we get that there are men who listen to what I say, and there are many who don't. Mm -hmm. And the fact is that uh, there's always going to be some guy who thinks if he spends enough money, he can get the hottest chick. And and you know what? He can. Oh, hey, that's how I got married the first time. All right. I, and then, I'm, not, and then, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. Right. So if you have a hot young girl, what you want to do is prepare her for what she's in for as an adult. What's the point of going to school, studying hard, working hard? She should work hard in her appearance. She should be going to the gym early on. 
working any out. Woman should be, any woman should be doing that. Any man should be doing that. No, no. I'm not talking about for health purposes. There's a certain level of cardiovascular exercise that you need for health purposes. I'm talking about for attractiveness purposes, going beyond health. Well, I agree. I mean, I agree. But yeah, but, I, but, but, but if you have a, if you, if your little girl is 160 pounds and 5'4", there's no point. You better prepare her for going to college, studying hard, because no man's going to pay her bills when she grows up. Why not prepare even the good-looking ones for college? Why not? And then they're going to be less of a drag on the man. Well, put it this way. Uh, again, if, 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 if a man could control what men do and what women do, sure, I'd love to do that. But in the real world, there are guys who are going to pay to get women like that. Yes. So you might true. as well train them to get what they can get. I, I, it just seems short-sighted to me. I got to say, train them to be the best that they can be, and then they can decide. They can use their looks, or they can use their education. All right. So, do you have any? Do you, have, do you have any young daughters? Uh, no, I don't. I'm childless. All right. If you did, if your 12 or 13 year old wanted to go out uh, dressed in fishnet stockings, and uh, hell no, you would say no. Hell no. Why? Hell no. She can do that when she's 18, when she knows the ramifications of it. No, well, I well dear, I, I can tell you don't have kids because they're, they're doing it way below 18 as it is. I know, and it freaks me out. It freaks me out. And I was probably doing the same thing when I was that age, but I was sneaking around doing it, you know, because my parents taught me otherwise. The difference is that now. But you did it anyway, age, right? I know the difference. But you did I it anyway. Did it. I did it, but that wasn't my training. So at my age, well, it doesn't really matter. You I did it, any, but education. you did it anyway. Yeah, but my parents, you know, it was all about education and being bright. And I am a good-looking girl, but it was all about being bright. So I could go out and have my kicks and be a little slutty, but I always knew who I was and I knew what I could get by my intelligence or my looks. I didn't just have to fall back on one. Yeah, well, you know what though? If you're really hot, you're wasting your time. <laughs> a girl's got to make money. Yeah, well, guess what? There's a lot of guys willing to hand it over to you. I know. That was my ex-husband. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> worth it. It just wasn't worth it. <laughs> but you um, got the money, and you didn't turn it down, did you? You didn't say, oh, this would be wrong to take money just because I'm hot. You know, no, you're right. No, I didn't. And I wish, I wish later on, I wish now that I hadn't done what I did. Now it's so much better earning your own money. It's so much better having not having to rely on anybody. You know, it's it's the only way to go. And it, if I had a daughter, that'd be the only way that I would raise her. Mm. All right, Andrea, thank you for the call. Thanks, Tom. Good talking to you. Appreciate it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. This is Rick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, bro? I'm doing okay, Rick. Hey, I'm 38. I have three daughters. Uh, 13, 11. Nine and actually, and four. I also have a son in the mix of that. I went to a Halloween party this Saturday, and they dressed like my 13 and 11 year old like hoes. Um, I kind of blame it on my wife a little bit, but it's kind of that way. And I'll tell you what, my daughters are beautiful, and they're going to take when they get older. They're going to take men for their money. And you're preparing them to be gold diggers as adults. Exactly. I've got, you know what, it's not, it's not what I want to see, but I'm kind of powerless over the situation. So I'm just going with the flow. And uh, at the same time, I also have my uh, rifle, shotgun, and uh, pistol ready to go, too, at the same time. Now, let me, let me ask you this question. Is your wife a gold digger, too? Yes. She is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so what did she get from you? Um, Everything. Well, yeah, you know, pretty much. Yeah, that's exactly the way I'm. The situation I'm in. <laughs> was and, it worth? Was it worth what you spent? I'm uh, thinking about it driving to work right now. No. Uh huh. But hey, Tom, can you take me out, uh, John Denver, Sonny Bono style? John Denver old, and old, Sonny Bono. Old school, baby. Little trip back to the seventies here. Here you go, Rick. All right, there's Sonny Bono. John Denver is a plane crash, uh, but it doesn't go into the water. It might be also called Payne Stewart style. That's the second time in a week someone asked for John Denver style. I don't know why. Yeah. 
That's it. Now, John Denver was in kind of an ultralight or something. It wasn't that, as big a plane as that sounded like, but we'll have to, I guess we'll have to redo John Denver style. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. It's Nicole on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I'm a big fan, by the way, and I typically, all probably ninety eight percent of the time, agree with what you say. But today, I had to call in. I've never called in before because I just completely disagree with what you're saying. Also, I feel you contradicting yourself. You're telling people don't spend any money on women, only spend forty dollars. Yes, that's what I'm telling them. But I'm not. I, I have. I don't have the ego to believe that everybody's doing what I say. In fact, right, I right. believe most guys don't do what I say. Right, and I and I understand what you're saying. And I actually am a full believer. I don't think women, men should spend more than forty dollars. Uh, you know, on women. I completely agree with you. But on this hand, it's like. It's kind of like when your child is an athlete. You know, when your child's athletic and you're like, raise him. Why does he need to go to school? He's going to get into the NBA. Well, what's going to happen if they can't fall back on it? Well, you know, the, the, difference, the difference is that hot chicks grow up to be hot chicks. No, because let me tell you, I, I am an L.A. I would probably call myself an eight and a half, but other people would probably call me a nine or a ten because, you know, I'm not very conceited. I'm pretty down to earth. That and I'm very educated, and I could have gotten away in life with my looks. I could have if I wanted to. I could have tried to be a Playboy bunny. I could have tried to be a model, but that's not how I was raised. And I feel like women have more substance if they can be educated, at least. But men aren't looking for substance. Men are looking for hot. You can have both. But men aren't looking for substance. In fact, I'll be honest with you. I'm specifically not looking for substance in somebody I would have a uh, sexual relationship with. So, so basically what I'm getting is raise your child, if they're good looking, if you can already tell they're going to be a 10, raise them as a 10 so somebody who listens to the Tom Likas show and or listens to what you tell them will just use them for maybe a weekend, a weekend night stand. But you know there I mean? like you don't week- understand. I mean, even uh, look. In the highest rated radio markets, you know, there's 81 stations in Los Angeles, for example. Right. And in the highest rated markets, you don't have more than 10% of the audience with any radio show. That okay. means 90% of the listeners are listening to something else. Okay, so out of your 10%, you know, which. That's 10%. That's a very small group. Out of the 10%, maybe even five of them aren't even going to listen to you anyway. You know, and maybe two of them don't even like you. So out of the 3%. Right. That's still a majority. You know, it's still a lot. Of it's people. not a majority. You just you were going to say it's a majority. Sorry, I'm sorry, it's, and I didn't. And I didn't. But it, it's it's an infinitesimal minority. Well, I, I still don't feel I mean, as a woman myself, educated and quite good looking, way above average. And I will. You know what? I won't lie. I've never taken money or taken gifts. But I have used my looks to get further in where I am. But I got educated first. And then I, I did take the advantages that opportunities that were given to me and not to... But you didn't need to. And your parents didn't need to save up to pay for your education either. Well, I, I don't believe so. I, I don't think I could have been where I am now. Where are you? What do you mean? In life and career? and Whatever you just said, I wouldn't be where I am now. Where's that? Well, I'm 27. I own three homes by myself. I'm I'm very recently married. I'm still only been married three months, so everything I have is what I have myself. Three homes, all of them in Orange County, so minimum five hundred thousand dollar homes. I did it all myself. Mm-hmm. So and and you, I have never ran into a 27 year old woman like myself who's in the same situation that I that I'm in. With the same situation, what do you mean? I don't, well, you know, happy, good looking has money, you know, and it's not... Because most 27-year-old women who are good-looking are getting it from a guy. Well, you know what? Okay, that's just not my style. That's but that's how, most, that's how most women who are hot are. I don't think so. Most I don't know any women like the women you Oh, stop about. it. Come on. Any hot-looking woman driving a BMW who's 23 years old, 24, 25, let me tell you something. It's because she could suck the chrome off a trailer hitch. That's how she got that car. Well, maybe I just don't want to believe it. Cause it's I bad. know you don't want to believe it, but it's true. Well, I, I guess you're right. But if I had a daughter, which I don't, and I don't know if I ever will, but if I ever did, I wouldn't raise her to, you know, based on looks. So I if she wanted to, to dress like a little slut for Halloween, you would say no? 
It depends on how old she is. How old? Mm, 16 and up. Why would you want them to dress like a slut at 16? Well, I mean, maybe on Halloween. Why? I don't know, because that, I don't know, because that's what I did, you know? Yeah, you I think was, that was I a good never, idea? I'm sorry? You think that was a good idea? Well, you know, women like to look sexy. It doesn't now, this is not sexy. This is slutty. Oh, no, not slutty. I mean, I, sexy, I'm thinking, you know, you know, not quite ass hanging out miniskirt, but miniskirt, fishnets and heels, cute top. I mean, that's what I find sexy. Slutty is not sexy to me. Well, most of the women I'm seeing out and about are slutty. But that's slutty. Yeah, that's slutty. I've never, the way I was raised, I've never in my life been slutty. All right, but that's mostly what's out there, dear. I, you know what? I understand what you're saying. And you know what? You're probably right because I'm calling in with a completely different mindset. The women that you talk about that there's exceptions to the rule, I believe I'm that exception. Well, since and you are, then you have to concede that since you're the exception to the rule, that the rule still stands. No, and, and that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to I'm, – what I'm saying is I don't personally agree with it, but it's out there. And I, I hope that women – you know, this whole – women are trying to, you know, be powerful and, and – I don't know. It's just dumb. I don't know. I kind of see this as a dumb blonde philosophy. Hang on a second, Nicole. Let me get Dan on here. Dan, what did you want to say to Nicole? Uh, she thinks she's an exception, man. But I think she's. Uh, I think she's lying about a lot of the stuff she's saying, man. Because she says she's smart, but she's she doesn't have that big of vocabulary. She's like saying, "I'm in a blonde blonde theory. Um, I'm pretty eight and a half. I'm not conceited, but uh." But I'm, other people call me a 9 or a 10. Come on. Give me a break. All right. You have your opinion. I mean, I've never called into a radio show, so I'm a little nervous. But uh, you, if you want me to rattle off the dictionary to you, I can, too. Uh, I don't, I don't I mean, believe it, Tom. Take me out Snoop Dogg style. Snoop Dogg style. All right, here you go. Bitch. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. What is sex like with someone who's 260 pounds? Uh, soft. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas show from Hollywood at one 800 800 tom If you're just tuning in, I've been seeing a bunch of these TV talk shows. Parents all concerned that the age of the females who are dressing as little slutty cheerleaders and slutty cops and whatever, that age is getting younger and younger every Halloween season. And I say, let's face it, uh, this is really what uh, adult womanhood is all about. Uh, like a piece of meat, putting yourself out on the auction block and getting as much as you can get for what you have to offer. Might as well prepare them. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Mike. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay. Well, basically, I wanted to defend the poor and, like, Low-income families. I don't know if you remember, but some fellow who was just recently on was talking about that since, you know, low-income and low-education-level families don't read the newspaper and watch TV and screen everything, that they are just... Hey, hey. I, f I forget. I forget I'm on the radio, Tom. My bad. My bad. Nonetheless, no, Tom, that's not true. My mother, single-parent mother, she was raising three kids all by herself, okay? My sister, 10, Tom. I can tell you that without a doubt. She's the most classiest woman, and she will sock you in the face with the quickness. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the ability for the parents to tell their kids no and not worry whether or not they're still going to be best friends. That's, that's my personal Yeah, but opinion. the bottom line here is uh, if the girls want to do that, what's the big deal? The fact is when they become adults, that's what life is all about anyway. The hotter and sluttier you. you look, the uh, more uh, successful uh, a guy you're going to be able to attract. I totally agree with you. I mean, Tom, I, a long-time listener, first-time caller, so, I mean, I believe it's you on everything you say, man. Nonetheless, it doesn't mean they got to be learning it at the home. Hot chicks hang out with other hot chicks, and other hot chicks are usually sluts, so they can learn it when they go to high school and have all their friends telling them, so what are you going to be for Halloween? Well, 
I think I'm going to be the tooth fairy. No, you should be a slut. Okay, so I'm, <laughs> they, they learn it from their friends. That's like parents right. not to cuss. They're going to learn it. Well, they don't just learn it from their friends. They learn it from the older girls. That That's who they're learning it from. I mean, uh, a, a 13-year-old girl sees her 16-year-old sister out there prancing around like a hooker. Well, if you, the 16-year-old sister's prancing around like a hooker, then the parents need to talk to her about the prancing. All I'm saying is that I agree with you, Tom, as they grow and as, and as they mature and fill in, yes, they will start noticing that the more they accentuate the breath, the more money and more things boys will do. For That's them. exactly what's going to happen. Jen on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, how Great. Um, okay, problem with this theory, and I agree that puts more uh, bimbos into the into the into the free area for you to to get out, which is a good thing. That, well, that's not what I said, and it's not what I implied. <gasps> no, you did. You mentioned that. It, well, this is the kind of girl that you look for a lack of, that has no substance. So, by I know you're. Yeah, but that, that's easy. that was not when I said that. That had nothing to do with being a direct result of what I'm suggesting here. But if, it kind of is a direct result of what you're suggesting. If you're saying that women should just forego any, you know, education or who cares about developing. So many life. women go to college to get their MRS anyway. Yeah, but so, but what I'm saying. Why is waste money and that, time if your if your daughter is hot? Encourage her to go to you know beautician school or uh, uh, take uh, modeling lessons or something like that. Yeah, but here's the thing: all my friends who are models are the biggest. Um, losers that exist. They have no money. They owe back taxes. They flip from guy to guy because all they've ever done is got is relied on their looks. So now, eight, uh, beauty is fleeting. Well, if they're losers, you know, getting an education they is are. just putting lipstick they on a pig. Are. What's really the point? Big. If they're all losers, really what's if someone's a loser? What's the point of sending them to college? No, but they don't start a loser. If you if you only rely on your looks your whole life, you become a loser. You become that cougar in the bar that's thirty seven that's got her lip. Well, I don't on. think that's necessarily true. I mean, look around at uh, the more famous examples of that. But, but by definition, when people are famous, they're no longer losers. You don't think really. Selma Hayek made it as uh, as because of her acting abilities, do you? No, she's beautiful, but actresses are are there's a, like a needle in a sta- in a haystack. Like hitting it big like that is. One in a bazillion, but the average girl who, of course, aspires. No, to you want to see the average girl who's really hot walk around Beverly Hills, Marina Del Rey, uh, Newport Beach, Corona Del Mar. They're all there. They have no money. I know I'm there too. I'm watching. They have no money. How do you know they have no they money? Get, they only get to borrow it for a little while until that guy gets tired. Oh, of please! These guys are usually too stupid to sign a prenup, but these girls take these guys to the cleaners. Some take him to the cleaners, but most Oh, come on. It's very common. You can't tell me, living in Southern California, you don't know about that. No, no. They do take them to the cleaners, but they, but that's not... So, typically, the really, really hot chicks, they also think they're too good to settle down for one guy. So they keep postponing, postponing. You know, it's BBD, TBD, bigger, better deal to be decided. Well, I know. I always say on this program that uh, women should cash in their chips between ages 25 and 29. But they never do. That's the problem. If they they're don't, really they're hot. screwing they it up. They think it's going to last forever. I mean, the best way for a chick to be is to be as hot as possible, uh, to be with as many guys and take as much as you can get for as many guys as possible. Then when you get to age 25, start looking for a husband. And then take from him as much as you possibly can, ultimately, because that's what's going to happen. Well, if they're not too bright, then that's their only option, yes. Absolutely. If if if. And I have friends like that, too. That and are women, so let's face it, most women hate mathematics, hate science, hate the news, hate reading. You know, they like reading People Magazine, Us Weekly. Come on. Mm-hmm. No, you're absolutely right. All right, Tom, a great show. Can you blow me up, please? Of course I can. 1-800-529-5555. one 800 tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Juan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How you doing? Great. I was just calling about the whole issue about girls dressing up like uh, sluts or whatever in Halloween. I, I personally think in the future, Halloween is going to be called uh, National Dress Like a Slut and not be a slut day. You know, but <laughs> I have a little... It can be called that now. It should. It should. I, have a little, I raised my little niece. She's 14 years old. And, um, you know, she wanted to be a little sexy waitress this year. And to be honest with you, the costume's not that bad. It's not like she's got... You know her breasts hanging all out and butt cheeks hanging. I mean, it's it's got you know the the um, 
the long lace, uh, the long laces on her legs and stuff like that. It's not that bad, you know. Plus, I feel if if I tell her no, she's probably gonna do it anyways. So I try and give her a little bit of freedom, give her a little bit of slack. You know, I'm young myself. I'm 23 years old, so I I know what it's like. You know, plus that's that's what we want to see on Halloween. And when when I sit at the at the house and we got I got these old, older girls with their young little kids taking them out trick or treating and they're all dressed up. That's what I want to see. I want to see some sexy costumes too. I, that, that's what it's about nowadays. Sex sells. Right. But you have to understand, uh, if you've got a little 13, 14-year-old girl, and mommy is 28 and has a tat and uh, a smoked cigarettes and on uh, Halloween goes out dressed like a slut, what do you think the daughter's going to do? Right, right. No, and I understand that. that. That's why it's all about influence. You know, monkey see, monkey do. You know, plus, I, like with my niece, I, I try and influence her in a positive way. You know, I, whatever I do uh, when, when I'm not with her really has nothing to do with her. I, some of the things I can't even explain to her if she wanted me to because she wouldn't understand. But, like, I, I just try and, you know, guide her the right way so that when the time comes for her to make a decision, she makes the right one. You know, I already had the little sex talk with her. I got She's on MySpace talking to boys. I got these older boys sending her messages talking to her about sex. You know, I, I hate that MySpace. I don't, <laughs> I don't even like Hell, it. Oh, I told you about MySpace. You know where MySpace is located, don't you? Where's it at? It's located between her left thigh and her right thigh. <laughs> it is. It is. I hate MySpace. <laughs> I, I can't stand MySpace. I, if I ever met Tom somewhere, I, I'll, I'll probably let him have it. I'll probably let him know what's going on. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I cannot stand that. That kid is a nerd to me. He had nothing to do. He couldn't get no tail, so he sat at home and came up with MySpace. On yeah, the but he got five hundred and thirty million dollars from News Corporation. Later, yeah, that's what he's got, but still, I mean, you know. He's a very yeah, popular I, nerd. I meet girls, I meet girls, and I do I do my networking by going out. I go to I go to the club, I go to the bars, I go pick up women there. That's my network. That's my space. That's my space. I don't get on the internet. I don't have time for that nonsense. I got work, school. I'm trying to better myself, make more money. I don't got time for that. Well, good, good. Glad to hear it, Juan. Glad to hear you uh, have some ambition. That's good. Here's Martha on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. This is Martha. I just said that. Uh, you did. <laughs> I just started listening to you not too long ago. My husband actually got me into you, and I, I really, really enjoy your show a lot. Um, but uh, I, I do have to tell you that I, I do agree with you with children or young girls dressing like sluts for Halloween, and they very do. I mean, they, they're awful. It's, it's ridiculous how they dress, and then I'm amazed that their parents let them out of the house looking like that. But um, I also disagree with you that we should prepare our daughters how to be sluts in the future. That's just wrong. Only and if I, they're hot. Yeah, the, Only if they're hot. And I'm not saying they should put out. I'm saying okay. to look like sluts. Okay. But, okay, so I have a daughter who's hot, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to allow her to, to dress like a slut. I'm not going to let her out of, out of the house looking like that. That's disrespectful to herself, and I'm not going to let anybody in the world talk about her. But when and she I grows up, that. let's face it, that's the world she's coming into. Right, but that, but then it's the morals that I give her while, while she's little and that I install in her brain and that she's going to respect herself as an adult when she does grow up, right? Well, is that disrespecting yourself, selling yourself to the highest bidder? That's pretty much what I we all do. Know. Let me tell you, <laughs> I'm, by the way, this program is being brought to you by the highest bidder uh, because I would put myself on the auction block, and here I am. I think I'm a hot lady, and I would never put myself on auction block. Never. Really? Just because I have morals. Well, but uh, let's face it. Most women uh, put themselves on the auction block and go to the highest bidder. Oh, uh, well, no. No. You don't think <laughs> most do? Agree. No, no. No, some some girls do, yes, of course. But, I mean, that's just where where they're, where they, will you stop? Where they're, um, where their morals so are. So you could have gotten someone much more successful than your husband. I married an awesome guy. But, but you guy. could have gotten someone much more successful. I, I, I probably could have gotten somebody more successful, but I have a wonderful man. An awesome, awesome guy. But you I, could have been with a guy who makes a lot more money than he does. I, I probably could have. I probably could have. Well, why would you want your daughter to settle for less, for God's sake? The Tom Likas Show.